I'm calling to all girls and boys, clean up your rooms, pick up your toys, brush your teeth, get ready for bed, come learn about Jesus, our very best friend. <laughs> Hello, my bedtime friends. Are you all ready for Betty today? I hope so. Tonight, we're going to talk about being servants. Mm -hmm. In the book of Luke, chapter 21, 22, verse 40, it says, Jesus says, be like the servant. Do you know what a servant is? A servant is someone who serves others, someone who does things for others. And Jesus would like us to be servants of others. We're going to read about that today. Our story tonight is called Apple Days. Do you like apples? They've got lots of them, it looks like. The Helper's Club was at Jimmy Lopez's house. The autumn leaves drifted down to the ground as the kids enjoyed cookies and apple juice. They talked about how they could serve others. We could rake leaves for Mr. Morrisky, said Sam. Mia said we could collect toys to give to the kids in the hospital. How about serving us more apple juice, Jimmy? laughed Max, holding out his empty cup. Hey, that's it, said Jimmy. Let's serve people who are hungry by picking apples for the town food pantry. The trees in my backyard are full of good old apples. Everyone cheered, and Polly Popple clapped her pudgy hands. You can serve by watching the apples, Polly, smiled Max, patting his little sister's head. The Helper's Club picked apples all day and piled them in piles out of the way. Red apples, yellow ones, green apples too. The kids picked those apples until late afternoon. But what a surprise once they were through. Uh-oh, I want to show you something in the corner. <laughs> you see that? Little Schnickel Fritz. <laughs> Schnickel Fritz likes apples too. Uh-oh, what did the kids find out? Look at there. What did Polly do? Polly, said Max, what did you do? You bit almost every apple clear through. Sure enough, little Polly Popple had taken one big bite out of every apple. Polly smiled proudly. Good apples, she squealed. I think Polly was just serving us as our official apple taster, giggled Sophie. Jimmy laughed too. <laughs> That's okay, we can still serve. My mom will help us make lots of yummy applesauce. <laughs> do you like applesauce? I do too. My mom used to make applesauce every fall. How did the helpers club serve? What did they do to serve? They picked all those apples. They worked hard, didn't they, to serve hungry people. Why does God want us to serve others too? Why does God want us to serve others? When we serve others, we're showing love and care for them, aren't we? Polly served in a funny and not so helpful way. There are many helpful ways to serve others, such as doing useful things, being good listeners, and saying kind words. When we serve, we tell others that we care, and we tell Jesus we care too. Mm -hmm. When we show our love to others, we're showing our love to Jesus. We are. Let's pray about that. Hold your hands and bow your heads. Dear God, Please help me look for ways to serve and be helpful all of my days. Amen. You can think of ways that you can serve others while you're going to sleep tonight. And then tomorrow, try one out, okay? Let's tuck you in, turn off the light. Now it's time to say goodnight. God is watching over you. He keeps us safe the whole night through. God's love is near us. 
God's love is near us. God's love is near us. Sleep tight. I love you, dear. Have a good sleep. God bless you.